I started when I was four with my little league uh, team, the Eastland Vikings. Um, do I remember how my first play? No, but I don't remember that. But I do remember being four years old playing, you know, just random bits and moments. Uh, I know my dad taught me the swim move the first, and when I first did in the first game, I stopped in the middle of the play. Like, that actually worked. And then ever since then, it's just been the whole, you know, that's just something I've always done, always loved to do, so. <laughs> well, let me, I, I try not to get hit every play. <laughs> um, I definitely try to do the hit. And, but, um, yeah, the trenches is definitely, a, it can get ugly down there, you know, going up against two, 300-pound or 200-pound men every play. It definitely gets tiring, but, you know, you just, you grow, you grow to it. You know, I've, I've played it for the last six years, so I'm kind of used to it. But you know, different things happen every play. So, I mean, just people just like me. You know, maybe a step slower or a couple inches shorter, a couple pounds too light. You know, it's still great athletes. You know, uh, Dre Archer, great athlete. Jordan Lynch, great athlete. You know, Tettleton, OU's quarterback, great athlete. You know, there's just. I don't really think about it as the MAC conference, you know. I think about it as the same people I'm going to go play at LSU as the same people I'm going to play, you know, week eight in the MAC. so. Well, I can't eat before the game at all, so that's Saturday. I Maybe if it's a night game on Saturday, I might eat breakfast, but if it's one of the midday games, I, just, I have nothing in my stomach where I'll throw it up before the game. I'll throw up before every game. <laughs> Oh, I mean, we're, we got a great relationship, you know. Um, I can definitely talk to him about things going on. And, you know, he comes to me asking me about how things are done, you know, just things that he wouldn't know about but just by just being a new coach. So, you know, we definitely have a good relationship and we definitely, you know, talk talk often. Yeah, like I, my high school, I never won. And, you know, we, we my greatest year was three and seven. So. Going going to a program like Kent State, who is known to be you know five and seven and you know, average average good day bad day team, and then magically going eleven and one and, and going to a bowl game. It's just it was just, last year was just a great experience. You know every week went in and then finally getting to go to a bowl game and get on that plane while everybody else is at home. And it was just a great experience, especially going out there and seeing how much respect and love that the people at Mobile have for the bowl game. It was just a great time. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I ended up I ended up here because I was, you know, undersized. They say so. Um, I heard a quote recently that's just been in my head nonstop. Let the bed, let the dead bury the dead. And uh, I looked into it. It's actually a, a verse. I can't remember, but it's pretty much just me. Like the past is the past. And you can't do nothing about it. So I can't do nothing about my size. I can't do nothing about last year. All I gotta do is just look forward to you know what's coming in my near future, what's what's good for the team, and just and it just goes with life. So.